SJM says, why did Coach Carroll get fired but not Schneider? Is Schneider on a short leash? I don't think that Schneider is on a short leash, SJM. I think that if there was any kind of potential of Schneider being on a short leash, you just would have cleared house at that time because that just would have been easier to do so when you we were going to move on from Coach Carroll. I think that what ownership is telling you by making this decision is that in their evaluation of things, if there is a problem and if you get to a place of a point of people getting fired, there's a problem on your team. If there's a problem with this team or an issue with this team and, and issues that have been coming out that have caused them to underperform or not perform up to expectation, or as in the case SJM of, of the Seahawks, you have one playoff win since 2017. Ownership looked at the situation and said, we feel like the reason behind this is more to do with Coach Carroll or heavily to do with Coach Carroll. And they allowed then John Schneider to hire the next coach, which in its own way is a little bit of a, of a tip of the cap to him of doing his job right or that he's not part of the problem. So that's where their evaluation stood of it, SJM. If I was to make a guess, I would say that what they saw from Coach Carroll was a lack of change, a lack of innovation, a lack of advancing forward his schemes, that he had become stagnant and that he had become at a place where he was going to just lean on what he'd always kind of done and hope that was going to work. And we saw this in some of his press conference to SJM where you know, ownership is telling him at that time, look, Hurt's not a good defensive quarter. You need a new DC in here. We, we don't want, we're not going to carry Jamal another year. That didn't work. This isn't working. And Carroll being the loyal guy is probably went to bat for both those guys and said, no, I, I got to have those guys back in here. And that was probably a final straw to the ownership to say, okay, you're just not going to change. You're just not going to update. And there were plenty of years that he showed that this was the proof of the situation. And when you do look at John Schneider, not to say that he's without blame, but SGM, when you do look at John Schneider two years ago, you can see where the team from a drafting standpoint took a different turn, made an adjustment saw that this thing isn't working, let's do this instead. And then by doing this instead, it's brought a couple of the best drafts that we've had in Seahawks history. And so it's, as I always say, it's not the worst thing to get something wrong. It's the worst thing to get something wrong and then not try to fix it, to just hope it will fix itself. That would be my guess on it, SJM. It is a guess though, for sure.